When people outside of Europe think of Greece, they often think of Athens, Mykonos, or Santorini, but there are lesser known areas rich in ancient sites, history, and nature. Our trip through the Peloponnese on the western side of Greece with our friends was one of those areas. Starting in Athens, we picked up our van and crossed the Corinthian Canal, marveling at its creation to connect the Aegean and Ionian seas. Our journey then took us to Mycenae, associated with King Agamemnon of the Trojan War, and Argos, showcasing its historical significance. In Athens, a port city with Venetian architecture, we explored its cultural history before heading south to Attila for cave adventures and culinary delights. Heading north, we visited Mistras, a UNESCO World Heritage Site showcasing the architectural and artistic achievements of the Byzantine era, particularly captivating to see where the residence is built into the mountain. Onward to Olympia, a sanctuary dedicated to the Greek god Zeus and birthplace of the Olympic Games. Our next stop, Palavitra, with its picturesque mountain scenery, held a somber past as a site of Nazi massacres during World War II. Our final stop was Delphi, dedicated to Apollo and famous for its oracle. People from Greece and beyond sought its advice on politics to personal affairs. For many, including my family, traveling is one of the ways to live life imagined. It doesn't have to be extravagant or too heavy on the pocketbook. If you'd like tips on how, let me know in the comments.